Pharos Control, which is used to manage all Pharos Series products, can be downloaded from the support page of any Pharos Series product. From the support page, enter the Download Center and click on the Utility tag. Here you will find the download link for Pharos Control. To begin installation, launch the installation wizard by double-clicking on the Pharos Control installation package. Remember to deactivate your antivirus software and firewall before beginning the installation, as the software may mistakenly block the process. You can change the installation location by clicking on the Browse button and selecting another folder during setup. The Pharos Control Server is an application that is usually hosted on a machine within the private network that contains the managed devices. Users can log into the server through the Pharos Control Client from anywhere in the network or over the internet. The server runs continuously, monitoring the managed devices and collecting statistical data. It is possible to run the server and client on the same machine, launching the server on demand, but this is not recommended. Remember to install the Pharos Control Server during the initial setup. You can set the server's port, username, and password using the Pharos Control Client. You may choose to use the default login information, but the username and password cannot be changed in the future. The server port, however, can be changed at any time. Click Next on the following pages to complete the installation. Before you log into the client to manage network devices, you first need to launch the server. Once you have launched the server, open the client software and fill in the required information. Enter the server IP, which is the IP address of the host on which the server is installed, then enter the server port, username, and password that you created during installation. After logging in, you can browse the Pharos Control Client. The client interface is divided into several sections. The upper left corner lists the device groups. Devices can be grouped by name, model number, the subnets that they belong to, or any customized rules that make management easier for you. Device details, processes, and task results are displayed at the bottom of the interface. The top right section lists a series of functions. The Device tab provides a list of devices which can be managed using the function buttons on the toolbar. For example, you can click the Edit button and configure any listed device. In the Firmware tab, you can upload, delete, and manage firmware that is stored on the server. In the Task tab, you can configure and manage a variety of tasks. In the Trigger tab, you can configure actions that will be triggered by specific conditions, such as state transitions. In the Account tab, you can add new users, including administrators, managers, and guests. Each type of user has different privileges. In the Log tab, you can review the system log to monitor and review operating status events.